First, we'll understand the concept of God in Hinduism. If you ask a common Hindu that how many gods does he believe in? Some will say three, some will say hundred, some will say thousand, while the others will say 33 crores, 330 million. But if you ask a learned Hindu who is well versed with his Hindu scriptures, he will tell you that the Hindus should believe and worship only one God. But the common Hindu, he believes in a philosophy known as pantheism. The common Hindu believes that everything is God. The sun is God, the moon is God, the tree is God, the human being is God, the snake is God. What we Muslims believe is, everything is God's. G-O-D with an apostrophe, yes. Everything belongs to God. The sun belongs to God, the moon belongs to God, the tree belongs to God, the human being belongs to God, the snake belongs to God. So the major difference between the Hindus and the Muslims is, <clears throat> the common Hindu believes that everything is God, we Muslims believe everything is God's. G-O-D with an apostrophe S. Yes. The major difference is the apostrophe S. Yes. If you can solve this difference of apostrophe S, yes, the Hindus and the Muslims will be united. How do you do it? Come to common terms as between us and you. Which is the first term? Allah na illallah. That we worship none but one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let us try and understand what is the concept of God in Hinduism by trying to understand what the Hindu scriptures have to speak about Almighty God. Among the sacred scriptures of the Hindus, one of the sacred scriptures is known as Upanishads. It's mentioned in the Chandogya Upanishad, chapter number 6, section number 2, verse number 1. It says, Ikkam evidityam. God is only one without a second. It's mentioned in the Shweta Setara Upanishad. Chapter number 6, verse number 9. Nachasya kasij, janitana chadipa. Of that God, he has got no parents. He has got no superior. Almighty God has got no mother. He has got no father. He has got no Lord. It's mentioned in the Shweta Sitar Upanishad. Chapter number 4, verse number 19. Na tasya pratima asti. Of that God, there is no pratima. Pratima is a Sanskrit word which means an image. It means a photograph. It means a picture, it means a painting, it means a statue, it means an idol, it means a sculpture. So it's mentioned in Shweta Sejar Upanishad, chapter number 4, verse number 19. Na pratima asti. Of that God, there is no pratima, there is no image, there is no photograph, there is no painting, there is no picture, there is no idol, there is no sculpture, there is no painting. Who says that? Shweta Sejar Upanishad, chapter number 4, verse number 19. Further, if you read, amongst the Hindu scriptures, the most sacred are the Vedas. It's mentioned in Yajur Ved, chapter number 32, verse number 3, Na tasya pratima asti, of that God there is no pratima. Pratima, as I mentioned earlier, means an image, a photograph, a picture, a painting, a sculpture, a statue, an idol. It's mentioned in Yajur Ved, chapter number 32, verse number 3, Na tasya pratima asti, of that God there is no pratima, there is no image, there is no picture, there is no painting, there is no photograph, there is no idol, there is no sculpture, there is no statue. Further, it's mentioned in the Yajur Ved, chapter number 40, verse number 8, Almighty God is imageless and pure. It's mentioned in Yajur Ved, chapter number 40, verse number 9, Andhatma pravishanti ya asambhuti mupaste. Andhatma means darkness. Pravishanti means entering. Asambhuti means things which are natural, like fire, water, air. It's mentioned in Yajur Ved, chapter 40, verse number 8. 9. They are entering darkness, those who worship the asambhuti, the fire, the water, the air. And the verse continues. They are entering more in darkness, those who worship the asambhuti, that's the created thing, like table, chair, idol, etc. Who says that? Yajurved, chapter 40, verse number 9. Among the Hindu scripture, the most popular amongst all the Hindu scripture is the Bhagavad Gita. It's mentioned in Bhagavad Gita, chapter number 7, verse number 20. All those whose intelligence has been stolen by material desires, they worship demigods, they worship false gods. It further mentioned in Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 58, verse number 3. Dev Maha Asi, verily great is Almighty God. And amongst the Vedas, the most sacred is the Rig Ved. It's mentioned in Rig Ved, book number 1, 
हिम नंबर वन सिक्सटी फोर मंत्रा नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स एक कम सत विप्रभौदा विदांते ट्रुथ इज वन गॉड इज वन एंड सेंट्स कॉल हिम बाय अ वराइटी ऑफ नेम्स एंड देर आर नो लेस देन थर्टी थ्री डिफरेंट एट्रीब्यूट गिवन टू ऑल माइटी गॉड इन रिग्वेद बुक नंबर टू हिम नंबर वन अलोन वन अमंग्स दिज एट्रीब्यूट मैंशन रिग्वेद बुक नंबर टू हिम नंबर वन वॉस नंबर थ्री इज ब्राह्मा ब्राह्मा इज कॉल्ड एज द क्रिएटर गॉड इफ यू ट्रांसलेट क्रिएटर इन टू अरेबिक इट बिकम्स खालिक वी मुस्लिम दैट वॉट नो ऑब्जेक्शन इफ सम वन कॉल ऑल माई टी गॉड एज खालिक और क्रिएटर और ब्राह्मा बट इफ समन से इज ब्राह्मा इज ऑल माई टी गॉड हुज गॉड फोर हेड ऑन एंड ऑन ईच हेड इज द क्राउन वी मुस्लिम स्टेक स्ट्रॉन्ग ऑब्जेक्शन टू इट Because you are going against Sutta Sutta Upanishad, chapter number four, verse number nineteen, which says, "Na tasya pati ma asti." Of that God, there is no image. Another attribute given to Almighty God in Rig Veda, book number two, hymn number one, verse number three, is Vishnu. Vishnu is called as the sustainer God. Sustainer, if you translate into Arabic, it means Rab. We Muslims have got no objection if someone calls Almighty God as Rab. or sustainer or vishnu but if you say vishnu is almighty god who has got four hands one of his right hand is the discus the other left hand he has a conch he is traveling on the water on the bed of snake or flying on the bird by the name of garuda we muslims take strong exception to it moreover you are going against yajurved chapter number 32 verse number 3 which says na tasya pati ma asti of that god there is no image it further mentioned in rigved book number 8 hymn number 1 verse number 1 march then in the sansad worship only one god praise him alone it's mentioned in rigved book number 6 hymn number 46 verse number 16 ya ek mushti hi there is only one god worship him alone praise him alone and the brahma sutra of hinduism is ekam brahm द्यूतिया नास्ते नैना नास्ते किंचन भगवान एक ही है दूसरा नहीं है नहीं है नहीं है जरा भी नहीं है दर इज ओनली वन गॉड नॉट अ सेकेंड वन नॉट एट ऑल नॉट एट ऑल नॉट इन द लीस्ट बेट सो इफ यू रीड द हिंदू स्क्रिप्चर यू शेल अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ गॉड इन हिंदुज्म एंड अंडरस्टैंड हिंदुज्म इन द करेक्ट परस्पेक्टिव